I'm Matt Gross, the frugal traveler for the New York Times. This summer, I'm embarking on the grand tour of Europe. Over 12 weeks, I'll seek out ancient history and contemporary culture. I'll find cool hotels and eat memorable meals. And I'll stretch the US dollar to the breaking point. A typical morning in southwestern France. The animals were up early and I was having a simple breakfast to start the day. I had found this farm, the farm of Dominique and Cyril Sartre via Woof. Woof is Worldwide Opportunities on Organic Farms, an international organization that connects organic farms with volunteer laborers just like me. In exchange for the sweat of my brow, I had a place to sleep and three meals a day. I also had the chance to improve my French, something the grand tourists used to do back in the 18th century, except they would never work. I was also not the only American seeking frugality on the farm. Uh, I was looking for a, a good way to, to learn the language um, without spending too much, and uh, one unfortunate day online I, I came across woofing and I uh, was really impressed. Uh, with the, uh, the amount of trust that it puts in, in your fellow human beings. In the mornings, Ryan and I would follow Domi, as we called her, out to the fields, helping her pick vegetables to sell at the market. Uh, the ah, the spinach. It needed to be trimmed, sorted, and cleaned in order to be sold at the market. A simple process that Domi's husband, Cyril, explained to us. Lunch was the big meal of the day. Ça sent bon. <laughs> After lunch, there was reading to be done. The pigs needed feeding. A sheep needed work done. C'est le salon de brebis. Voilà, oui. <laughs> Manicure. <laughs> and finally, the van had to be loaded up for the market. If it rained, we would take to the library. And when it cleared up, we went for a walk. When the sheep were returned to their pen, that was the sign that the day was beginning to wind down. We finished, I won, the day ended. In the morning we drove through the misty hills to the little town of Mouret. We set up our stall and we got to work offloading the previous day's pickings. As customers came and went, and our supply of organic veggies quickly dwindled, I realized that my own time of living close to the earth was just about over. Soon I'd be heading to Monaco, the shishiest place in Europe. No mud, no pigs, no days in the rain. Why do people go there anyway? I guess I'll have to find out. Pour le New York Times, 
Je suis Mathieu Gross, le voyageur frugal. Merci beaucoup, madame. Bonne journée.